balancer and how to balance horizontally connected servers. Now, one of the interesting things about um, what we did in the last video, I thought, was that you could have multiple servers at different addresses talking to each other, which is pretty cool, I thought. But what if you wanted multiple servers all from one URL, like a, a domain you own or something, and you only want to have one domain, and you want to you want to have multiple servers um, processing from that domain? Well, there's this pretty cool, um, really super simple uh, little um, package you can use called Load Balancer that was uh, designed um, by John for Chicago Classics. Now, uh, there's some really cool features about this, and it's it's <laughs> really really awesome how it works. I, and I take suggest you take the time to go and read um, some of this uh, documentation. But I'm gonna just show you real quick how it works. Okay, so the very first thing you have to do is install Load Balancer globally, and then you have to create this config.json file. And if you want, you can create a um, a a uh, what do you call these? That's a, a script, a middleware script, or a, excuse me, a load balancer script to run middleware and functions and whatnot. So you can like block people, and it's it's pretty cool. You can do whatever you want in this in this script. So uh, it's nice to have that uh, functionality. Okay, so once again, we have uh, a server on port three thousand one and a server on port three thousand. And the problem with this is they're two separate ports. They're not one address. You'd have to have like two domains. Well, with load balancer, what we did is we created this config.json, and we're going to be running at port 2000, and it connects these two hosts to this to this um, load balancer here. So you can see we once again will be at port 2000, and we'll be at port 2000. Okay, but we go over here and we say, oh, I think that the first server, this guy here, had, oh, hold on, I gotta do this real quick. So. There you go. We got the second server, and this guy is on the first server here. So we'll, uh, we'll clear the console, and then we'll broadcast again. And you'll see okay, it's connected there and it's connected here. They're both on the same URL, but you can see a different server here. So it's pretty dang cool how that works, uh, and it's sticky load balancing. Um, so people who come in and get a specific uh, machine will go back to that same machine or server. And it's really, really, really <laughs> easy to configure. I was surprised how easy it was. So uh, just to recap, uh, what you need is a config.json file. And uh, you can go look at uh, this documentation here to see all the... Oh, oops, excuse me. That's the wrong one. Um, there you go. You can go look at this um, documentation file to see all the options uh, here. And here is an example of all the options. And here I just used the, the port and the controller um, file here, which I created over here. That's all on, on the bottom down here. Um, and then uh, that's all you need. And then install um, load balancer globally, and then you just run this start, and then you can include your config file, and it will start running. It's pretty cool. And then if you want to stop it, you just uh, run load balancer stop. It's pretty simple. So now you have, and you can, you can do this obviously through remote hosts and stuff. So you can have, you know, one server a cloud server on AWS that's managing all your load balancing and then spin up two different servers with completely different configurations and they'll act as if it's one machine which is just really really cool anyway uh, thanks guys for watching if you have any questions please post below I'm gonna um, push up this code I'm gonna add the code to this horizontal stuff here so that you can see how it works and uh, anyway uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna actually actually I'm gonna change it I'm gonna do horizontal with load balancing, that way you can have two separate um, GitHub uh, ones to look at. So in case you don't want the load balancing, you'll, you'll still have access to it. Okay, thank you for watching, and uh, if you like, if you uh, like the video, please uh, like and subscribe. Thanks.